Russia seeks to establish full control of the regions of Lugansk and Donetsk, part of the larger Donbass, and to maintain a land corridor to occupied Crimea. For more, let's speak to our international affairs editor, Armin Georgian. Hello to you, Armin. Um, we're seeing Russia with this sort of full-on offensive in the east. What are the, some of the trends you're seeing in the fighting there? Well, the, the Ukrainian side has said that it has now switched to an offensive posture rather than merely defending their positions. That doesn't mean to say a counter-offensive across the entire line of contact, which is extremely long. I mean, it goes really from the north of Kharkiv round here, uh, sorry, I should say here, uh, all the way down to uh, Mykolaiv and the Black Sea coast. So that is an extremely long uh, line of contact. And we're not talking about Ukrainian counteroffensives everywhere, but there has certainly been a significant one around Kharkiv here. Uh, still heavy p fighting around these areas that I've got in green and a black, which is where the heaviest fighting, for example, Izum, where, where a lot of the Russian forces are concentrated, but also here um, in uh, from the south of, of, of the Donbass. So essentially what we're seeing is a continuation of uh, 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 Russian tactics, tactics to try and squeeze this bulge here and eventually envelop Ukrainian forces. But round here, the situation has actually been relatively static in the last few days in terms of the, the big strategy of Russia, which is to envelop Ukrainian forces, but still heavy fighting here, here around these green and black circles. Um, so Russia's approach essentially doesn't seem to have changed, although it, its way of operating has certainly changed since uh, it failed to do this lightning offensive on Kiev a few weeks ago. Um, different, different modus operandi, but still not able to essentially envelop uh, those Ukrainian forces, which, as I said, have conducted counterattacks around Kharkiv, but also they're saying that they've made a progress, the Ukrainians, this is, in parts of Kherson Oblast and around Mykolaiv as well. Um, so we'll have to see, but certainly the fact that uh, the Ukrainian military is saying that they are switching to offensives in some areas, that reflects perhaps a certain level of confidence, perhaps re reflecting also this resupply of, of Ukraine by outside powers, though, um, you know, what happens in the long run, it's very, very hard to predict, Will, because, of course, in a war of attrition, uh, there are so many different factors, one just can't really uh, predict how all of this is going to end up? Will it last for weeks, months, years? What would, what sort of level of Western support uh, does Ukraine really count on? Uh, what will uh, the Kremlin decide around May the 9th, which is, of course, a very symbolic and important day in Russia, uh, victory over Nazi Germany being celebrated? Uh, will there be some kind of tactical uh, success being touted as a reason to, to sort of pull back a little bit, or, on the contrary, an escalation? So this could go in many, many different ways. But certainly from the Ukrainian authorities' point of view, they believe that the Russian offensive has stalled in the Donbass. But that doesn't mean to say a Ukrainian victory. It doesn't mean that. It just means, you know, some sort of... Um, you know, balance of power. And, and it depends really now what Ukraine decides. Do they try to actually push back beyond? Uh, so this is an area, these stripes here, we, we can show you. Uh, this shows uh, areas that were controlled by pro-Russian forces before February the 24th. Does Ukraine actually try to push this back? Do they try and uh, push Russia back into the Crimean Peninsula? This is where they essentially spilled out from on the 24th of February to make these gains here in the south. How far does Ukraine go? These are all tactical, military and political decisions that we'll have to wait and see what Ukraine actually decides that it feels it can do.